Are you struggling with resources in Infinite Galaxy? Well, in today's video, we're going to help you to alleviate this pain and we're going to help you to succeed in Infinite Galaxy. I'm Shinchi42, your sponsored content creator here today. Today in this video, we're going to talk about planet gathering or planet mining. Now, if you want to see more Infinite Galaxy content that will help you to succeed in the game, that will give you an edge among other players, consider subscribing and turn your notification on. And if you like our video, today do press thumbs up if it's very helpful and of course share the knowledge as well share this video help every player that is in your alliance to succeed because if every single one of you guys succeed watching this video and explaining how you can gain resources for free this is really going to help everyone to progress in the game so share the video if you find this to be helpful because this, sometimes it's just so much easier to show a video than to explain things to other players. So in today, we're gonna talk about planet gathering. We're gonna break this into a few parts in here and then there's going to be like a timestamp in the video. So you can go through whichever timestamp that you want to go to for the specific topic that you're looking for. But I highly, highly suggest that you don't skip out on every topic that we're gonna talk about in here today. And I suggest that you watch every single one because every single, um, topic that we're going to talk about is like um it's very important to the piece of the puzzle on increasing your um, efficiency on planet mining all right so first of all let's talk about planet mining what is planet mining so what you guys don't realize is there is two different types of gathering resources in infinite galaxy in, in today's video we're mainly talking about planet mining as you can see there is a planet here in the star system of the galaxy if you go into your alliance and you go into your alliance territory and you can go into the planet development you can see in each star system there are multiple planets and with the planets you can gather inside the planets without being bothered by enemies without getting attacked and you can this is like a safe haven for you but also there is a difference between planet mining and mining in the space. So the mining part in the planet, let me show you an example in here. Let's go into the 9029. Mining in the planet has a production per hour, all right? And if you're mining in the space, this is also different. This uh, Now, if I search for asteroids like this titanium steel, the planet mining is different than the asteroid steel. So if we look into the core module, which we're going to talk about later also, you need to understand that there is the gather speed up. So if you're looking into a specific description saying gather speed up, this is going to be for the asteroids, right? This is going to be anything that is in the space that you're going to be gathering or, or mining that is not a planet. So gathering speed ups is referring to anything that is in the so gathering speed up refers to anything that is not related to planet. So your planet efficiency is not boosted by gathering speed. So keep that in mind. There's two different things in there. Now to break it down a little bit more in detail in here, the difference between planet mining and mining in the space is that the planet is the one producing for you. It has a production rate. Compared to the asteroid, the asteroid has a fixed amount of resources that you have to mine and complete and finish. The planets have an unlimited amount of resources and you're going to use any energy to basically gather the resources in the planet but there is a production per hour that you have to abide by hopefully that makes sense it might be a little bit difficult in the beginning and trying to understand this so if you have any further question leave it down in the comment section below and we'll try to answer those and one day once you're more knowledgeable come back to the video and help the new players who are asking questions in that video in, you know, in the comment section below and answer and help them out as well okay so um, i kind of explained that to you guys the planets will have a production per hour compared to a limited mining capacity within the space or the asteroids so one more thing that you're going to understand that there is a limit for the uh, mining in the planet as well there is a limit of 500 energy which if you understand this one energy is equal to one minute and if you say 500 minutes 
it will be about 8.3 hours. So you can technically gather 8.3 hours total in the planets if you have full 500 energy to use. So as you can see right now, our cost is 147 to mine in this planet. Now, there are a lot of factors that are going to affect the cost of energy. So first, let's take a look into planet levels. So I've mentioned earlier that there are different um, star systems in your alliance. And as you can see, let's take a look in here. Well, well, keep in mind right now, this is a level eight platform, which is a 1500 in here. All right. This is a level eight platform. And for the titanium, you can see it's 108 per hour on to the production so let's go into the alliance territory let's look at a lower level platforms in here um let's go to a level six and let's go into titanium again if you remember it was 108 now this is an 86.4 because the lower level platforms will have a lower level planet as well the lower level planet has a lower level production so and also the and you can see as well the plus in here is also lower this is 213.5k and for me to go back in here you will see that this will have 244.5k the reason why it's based on percentage and we're going to talk about that a little bit more in here so basically this is the section for the planet level now, the second thing that we're going to talk about is core module. And I promise to you guys, as you're watching in here, we're going to tie everything up in here. So, you know, help us out in here as well. Make sure that you guys are liking the video because it will help us out with analytics. So I've hopefully that you guys are appreciating this um, effort that we're going to do and to help you guys out to succeed here in Infinite Galaxy. So press that like, uh, leave a comment because all these things help our um, analytics and help us out to grow in the in the community as well. So let's take a look into the core module in here. And um, I want to do a quick shout out to Vex and Jadenis um, because we you know we made a discussion about this gathering and stuff and optimizing optimizing things which is really nice um i know it might not mean a lot to you guys because you don't know them but you know for them of course it means something right um now i want to show you guys this into the development in the core module you see this pat right here in the center you should really follow this pat and do this um let me tell you that this is my current setup right now so i do have it on the weapon all right i've kind of have it mixed right now i'm not full into the development but we're going to talk about like planet mining right so this further in here you can see that we have at the end one uh, you know talent in here or one core module points um, going into planet development for all resource output bonus and, it, and it's giving 40 percent in here so that's huge that's a lot of um addition to the production you know the output of the planet which we've talked about earlier now there's a few things in here that is not going to affect um your um, planet the gathering basically the load is going to help and we're going to talk about that a little bit later and we're going to give you some example as well in the load this gather speed up is not going to help you this is going to be for asteroids um storage center capacity is not going to help you research speed nope definitely not energy nope so there's two things that are going to help you in here for planet mining which is this which is huge 40 percent is big and then load boost as well which is going to help you um you can also branch out eventually if you would like i mean there are some that are going to be planet mining in here so here's a um, outputs bonus in planet development so anything that is a planet development that is going to help you with the planet mining so there's the core module this is a key thing get down the center this is very important if you need to take a screenshot take a screenshot of it so you will remember the next thing that we're going to talk about that is also super important is crew like i said we're going to tie everything back in here this is very important that you guys pay attention you guys are still awake yes let me know in the comment section below that you're still awake all right no matter if you're watching this after a month or two months that since this video has been uploaded don't be shy leave a comment in the comment section below because this is going to help every player in the game now as you guys can see we have two formation. I have my battle formation, which is, uh, you know, very good crew. Now, I also have a formation in here in my crew that is going to be, um, you know, miners. And understand when you're creating your um, talent points in here in the side, 
Um, this is going to be whatever you set up for your primary. So your primary, so you can see like, let's look into this one, right? In, into combat. As you can see, I have a lot in here that is not completed because this is on my secondary crew. Now, if I go into my primary crew, then I can succeed into completing that. Look into the co combat. You can see I have it all um, highlighted here. So I'm going to go back into the second crew in here. All right. I want you to pay close attention on who I am using as a crew. All right. There's a few things. All right. Logistics. Logistic is important. So if you actually want to do a skill. Now, actually, if you want to do a preset formation, you can actually also do that. And you go into here and do logistics and you can click confirm. And then you'll have all the logistics um, that is going to help you with your planet mining or gathering or anything. But there is a catch on logistics, which we're going to talk about that a little bit in here. So if I go into now, first of all, look into what I have right now. Um, this guy has a um, planet development, right? All resource output bonus, 14.3%. Um, this one is going to be, you know, space work construction because not everything is going to be about planet. So just keep in mind, um, who else am I going to highlight? This is the load. This is going to help you out as well. Bolt is a really good legendary crew that is going to help you out with planet um, development. All resource output bonus, 20% currently right now for me because it's still a low rank. Treg Warner is going to be for gathering speed up. So this is not going to help you for planet mining. Greg Lee, another one for gather speed up, not really going to help you for planet mining. But so we have a few guys in here that helps us out for planet mining. Now, if I go into the preset three that I've mentioned earlier, this is a more focus into logistics in here. As you can see, we have extra 40 that we can really use, but not everybody is going to help out with the skills. So there's also a catch to that as well. Let's actually take a look on the difference in here. Um, let's go and I need to consume 40. So let's see. Um, I'm just going to do a repair cost max in here. And, you know, it opens up the next stages in here for you for doing that. So you can do a um, planet development. So this is nice. If you're really working into nickel and plasma, you will want to focus onto logistics that way. But like I said, you are missing on some of the stuff in here that is not really going to help you out with planet gathering. Now, by doing this formation three, this is just going to specifically put you into logistics like what you have seen. This is not a bad approach if you just want to set up for, you know, mainly uh, getting the bonus stats for logistics. This is really good. I like this, the optimization of the game. But another thing that you might not like in here is that, hey, you know, there are some things in here that the buff that I don't really want. Like, you know, I really don't want this um, destroyer attack. But the reason why this um, crew is in here is because it has the most of the logistics, you know, since I've leveled her up. So it's going to the, basically a system is going to pick which has the most um, logistic um stats and they're gonna place it on that formation but i don't really like that i'd rather build my own which i have it with this one it may be a little bit less into the logistics but i need some of the stuff in here that is going to help me out and it's really not a big deal honestly because i can just level it up and you can always optimize things let's say you know i can compare oh what did they use that that is not in here so let's say um i've got this guy in here um, and I can change that up if I like to, you know, feel free to do any changes, right? It depends on what you want. But for me, um, this is pretty much fine. This is not going to help me for planet gathering anyway. What's going to help you with planet gathering is this um, skill or this talent in here, which is going to be very important. So uh, I, I can go through all the crews in here, but just I would say the best thing is like take a look into the crew that I have right now. And I know you cannot see the one behind me that is actually Greg Lee. Now, earlier I have mentioned to you about the load and I want you to take a look and pay attention in here. My load currently is 154. All right. I think something changed. It should be lower than that. I made some changes in here. So, yes, yeah, see what happened there. It allocated uh in here so it kind of messed us up in here when i did my uh when i did my setup for the formation three don't mess it up because the system prioritized the first layer first level and kind of messed that up i should have this already so i'm gonna reset my um uh, my crew in here my crew talent so we're gonna fix that a little bit in here guys
actually um i've reset it now this is a great information to show to you guys what's the differences of the of the uh, skills of the crews or the points for the crews so i want you guys to pay attention in here we're going to go back into the star system we have no crew talent at all and this is just all from buff of you know the skill of the crew as you can see this is 157 and it's going to cost us 160 all right so let's go back into spaceport remember the energy is 160 we're going to increase the load we're going to go to crew formation go logistics we're going to increase the load load boost upgrade that to max all right 20 percent load boost let's go back out and then you can see um remember it was 160 earlier so that should change this time now it's 183 this time now you're probably wondering okay it, it went up is it good or bad it's neither good or bad but it's a combination of everything to make it good now since i increased my load my ship can now can now carry more resources to carry more resources you are going to need more energy but how can we bring this energy down that's the question right so to bring that energy down we have to go back into the crew and by the way we're playing this on blue stacks so if you're interested to play this on blue stacks you know i'm playing this on a computer we have a link in the description that's actually an affiliate link so if you click that link if you download it i do get a kickback so it's helping me as a small content creator here today um now we're gonna do is you can see this um output right remember the output earlier I wouldn't, um, I'm not going to go back right now, but you can just go back in the timeline of the video into the output. So I'm going to go max this output out. Remember it was 180 energy, I believe. You can always go back to the timeline. All right. Now this is going to dramatically decrease the energy. And I'm going to explain this to you why as well. So look at this. Now it's 154. All right. So with the same load that I have earlier, now it's decreased to 154 why is that all right so the reason why that's happening is because we've increased the production rate right now it's 222.6 k production rate addition to the 100k right now what's happening there is that this plant is producing so much resources now even with the amount of load that i have so my miners are actually you know obtaining a lot of resources per hour so much faster this is why the energy is being decreased if i have a low production rate my energy will increase because it will take me forever to uh, fill that, you know, fill that load, if that makes sense. And you know what? It can be very confusing as well. I, honestly, this game is a little bit more complicated. It can be very confusing, but it, once it starts making sense into your head, it's going to be really easy. But like I said, if you guys have questions, leave it down in the comment section below. We'll try to answer them. We'll try to clarify them. English is not my second language, so please bear with me as well as I try to explain things in here. So I apologize if it's a little bit confusing in the way I am explaining it, but I'm trying to do my best. So I'm gonna upgrade this. I'm gonna show you that there's no difference in here. All right. We're gonna go back into the planet. I'll show you that there's really no difference on doing that. Remember the energy cost was 154 um let's go here energy cost still the same 154 and you know 222.6 the same all right so now we've talked about pretty much everything in here now the last thing that we need to talk about is the flagship because you're going to be using your flagship to um you know mine resources from the planets so let's take a look into certain flagship that i currently have right now now you can definitely look into the flagship but just by clicking on the flagship and there are some ones that are going to highlight to you like achilles this is a gatherer flagship that is going to have some benefit now keep in mind that you need to look into the skills as you can see with Achilles, this is a gather speed, and we talked about this earlier. This is going to be for asteroids. And also in the next skill, it has a planet development for all resource output. Um, what's nice about Achilles is that this is a flagship that can work for both situation, um, asteroids and as well as planet mining. Now, um, Achilles, I did purchase Achilles um, through the bundle, so it is worth to get him. Now, imagine if you purchase Achilles. This is a long-term value compared to just purchasing a bunch of... And anyway, you still need to purchase bundles anyway if you want to catch up and, you know, be ahead of everybody. But if you're actually working on a um, gatherer flagship, it is also going to supplement with your spending 
and really, um, you know, you can gain more resources much, much faster. So, you know, if you're looking for planet gathering, uh, Achilles is definitely the number one that you should be using for planet mining. Now, let's take a look into um, other flagships in here, and then we're going to take a look into the captains as well. Um, another flagship in here, which is the Argo, you know, now you can get Argo from the... Um, the, com the campaign shop so you can get him from the campaign shop argo is a um space miner so this is not going to benefit you for um planet mining i know it does have the load boost but this is really benefiting for more like space mining um i do have this crew here that allows me to you know uh mine in the planet with the titanium now i have this captain that will help me mine from the planets but actually i put the wrong uh, you know, set up in here. I'm actually going to leave this. Actually, I couldn't. I need to move that out because when I was setting it up, I didn't pay attention to too close in that one you should actually have that crew in the peleus so you should actually have this crew um, Rebecca Anson Harmony um, in in peleus, but right now it's fine because I'm mining um, I think I'm mining titanium for this anyway um, so it still works if you're mining to titanium, but if you're looking for planet mining, you want it to go into Peleus. If you don't have an Achilles, you might want to go for Peleus because this is going to help you with the same thing. Uh, all planet development for all resource output is right here. So if you look into the diagram in this, the Peleus and the Achilles is actually the same. So this is the legendary version of the Peleus. So if you're looking for planet mining, it's Peleus and Achilles. And if you're looking for um, space miner, now you are going to be looking for Argo and Jason, you know, because this is the two same flagship. Now I do have um, on my um, Jason, you can see that all resource gather speed, and then that's pretty much it for and then load boost. Um, and I have the captain of Lincoln, what I'm using here. And if you can see in here, this is a space miner. As you can see, this captain is more of a space miner for asteroids than uh, mining into the planet. So if you're using um, Lincoln and you're trying to mine in the planets, it is not going to help you out because this, I've ex as we have explained earlier, the attributes here will not help you with planet mining. So... Keep in mind that you need to optimize your crew, your flagship, your captain, and of course your core module as well. And if, you know, these are some of the things that will help you out. Now, one more thing that we wanna talk about is your flagship level. So the more you increase your flagship level, so if, you, if I look into my Achilles in here, I actually have it at like a level 15. So it really depends on how much you have, you know, that you can invest into the flagship. But the higher the flagship level is, the more leadership also. So if you actually look into the leadership in here, it can also increase the leadership. And the crew can also increase the leadership as well. So as you can see, 50. And um, just working on to those, if you have increased leadership, you can increase load. And we've talked about that earlier. I increasing load will optimize your planet mining as well. And I'm gonna give you a good pro tip in here. So once you have found your um, systems where you like to mine your, uh, your planets, so, what you need to do is go into the star system and then go into the favorites. As you can see, I've already favorited this and I'll show you how I did this. Um, we can go into right here. This is a level eight planet and you can label them and whatever you want. This is a plasma planet. So I could, um, you know, uh, click this save here, here and I can change it up to this is a plasma plasma level eight planet. So you can, you know, Organize it that way. So next time when you go and click here, so you can see here, this is a plasma level eight planet. And I can just click go and I'll be into that planet. So I don't have to keep searching and go into the Alliance tab and try to look for which is the level eight planet. So make sure you're using your bookmarks or your coordinates uh, saving that. Uh, it will really save you a lot of time. This is definitely a big pro tip. If you like this, let me know in the comment section below. Now, another aspect that can help you from planet mining is through your Alliance tech. So this is really crucial that you join Alliance. And as you can see with our Alliance, there is a production tab and there is a planet titanium steel mining planet deuterium extraction, planet plasma, planet nickel. These are the things that are going to help you with your um, 
you know gathering of resources in the planet and of course lastly in here is working into your research tech so you will also have you know the buff in here that will help you for planet mining as you can see the outputs in here from planet development so you really need to work onto this as well to improve your planet mining so that's one of the most important thing that an easy way to get done as you can see for me it's only level eight but you can definitely work onto that asap so as i have mentioned earlier now that you have understand a lot of things in here now you can see that this plus 230.9 that you can see um, this is all based on every buff that you have activated into your um into your account so as you can see it's 239 right now we're going to change things up in here and we're going to remove the crew i think this is the best explanation to do this and we're going to put a different crew we're going to put our war crew all right so as you put your war crew it is also going to change that so from 230 that's going to decrease dramatically so let's go back into that um, platform. Let's take a look into that planet. Now it's 192.3. Now the buff that you get from your technology core module, um, you know, your research, your alliance, everything is going to affect that addition. Now this white number is a base output of the planet itself. Each level of the planet has its own different hourly outputs. So it's really wise for you to be gathering in a level eight, as you can see, this is an eight, a level eight planet or level seven planet if you can't. Now this is in the later stages of the game. This is where in the zone three. Now, if you are in the, you know, zone two or zone one, try to farm or try to mine in the highest planet that you can find in that area. All right, so it really depends on the positioning of your alliance, where you are at, and how successful your progression is. But this is a universal um, guide that will help you in any zone that you are in, uh, in Infinite Galaxy, basically. So if you're really interested on, you know, mining a lot of resources per hour, this is the best way and the most efficient way to really do it. Just imagine I am gathering here in the planet and you know within one hour and 45 let's just say two hours i'll be able to collect about 800k of the um, titanium in here you have to add this up right so you can definitely get millions and millions of um, resources within a good time span if you optimize your um, hourly output and optimize your load your crew your flagship and everything that we talked about in here so i hope you did not skip because every little detail that we talked about in this video is extremely crucial. Now understand that if you're using the buff in here for the gather speed up, this is not going to help you for planet development because planet development, as we have explained earlier, it is not about gathering. It's the production of the planet, which is going to give you more resources. And by the way, you can stack up to this. So if you want to, you know, mine uh, in the in the space or asteroids you can set up like hey i want to mine for 24 hours i will use 24 of this one hour uh, speed up you can stack it up um you can also stack it up with this if i if i want to set it up like that so it's you know it's really nice you can set it up to how many you know hours or how many days you want it depending on how much you have for the item so i think we've given you some really great tips in here in infinite galaxy um i think with this tips it will definitely help you to optimize how you are you know gaining resources in this game um if you guys have any other like you know maybe something that we've missed that you guys want to point out you know feel free to leave it down in the comment section below i do hope majority of you guys appreciate this content it took me some time to create this um as you can see i changed outfit already um i just want to say guys um you know if you guys are interested to see infinite galaxy contents and just really interested to learn about infinite galaxy and just have fun and watch contents this channel is creating regular infinite galaxy contents so my intergalactic friends i hope you guys would consider to subscribe to support the channel of course and um you know press like leave a comment all these things helps with the analytics and as well as share the video and if you guys are you know you have your own discord channel and you want to set up where you can publish the, the video from this channel to uh share the knowledges to your teammates or your allies or your members uh feel free to do it you can you know set up a bot on discord and you can pull my videos from shinchi 42 tv 
into your discord channel so that will help everybody out and to succeed um besides that i'd love to hear from you guys um leave a comment in the comment section below if you guys want to message me join our discord and uh, everything that you need will be in the description so always when you watch my videos check the descriptions out it will help you to navigate into some places where you need to go and uh, don't hesitate to send me a message i am pretty much very active on discord uh, message me on discord you can also follow me on facebook twitter um and uh what is it called tiktok if you want to and instagram as well so just search shinchi42 um you'll find me uh, all the on all the uh social media platforms besides that Thank you guys for watching. I am now going to be gathering some resources. Look at that. I am really low onto my um, titanium. So that's what I am going to do. I'm going to go for a titanium gather in here. And we're going to set it up for uh, mining. And then I'm going to, after this is done, I'm going to have to actually I have one more in here that I'm going to start, um, you know, um, you know, uh, mining resources into the planets as well, because we have to finish it. So my last tip before we head out, always consume your energy every single day. Don't waste it. It's, it's, it's a free resources. Do not waste the planet mining. Anyway, my intergalactic friends, thank you guys for watching. I will see you again next time.